Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Such a joy to come together and meditate on God's word. This week we've been talking about stewardship and today we'll talk about being good stewards of the time that God has given us. Luke chapter 9 verses 11 through 15. While they were listening to this, he went on to tell them a parable because he was near Jerusalem and the people thought that the kingdom of God was going to appear at once. He said, a man of noble birth went to a distant country to have himself appointed king and then to return. So he called 10 of his servants and gave them 10 minas. Put this money to work, he said, until I come back. But his subjects hated him and sent a delegation after him to say, we don't want this man to be our king. He was made king, however, and returned home. Then he sent for the servants to whom he had given the money in order to find out what they had gained with it. Today's passage shows us people with three different attitudes. First, those who reject Jesus. Second, those who hide what they have been given. And third, those who honor Jesus and put his gifts to use. God has given us spiritual gifts and all kinds of resources, but he wants us to use them wisely. Let's look back again at the life of Jesus. He had multitudes following him. Thousands and thousands upon were following the Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes he ministered to the whole group, but he chose to devote most of his time with the 12 disciples. Life gets busy. We may need to keep our priorities straight. When we are asked to do something, do we automatically say yes or do we take time to think, evaluate and pray about it? Remember, life is a balancing act. Don't be lazy, but don't wear yourself out either. We need to be diligent. Proverbs talks about the ant and how the ant goes about doing its work even before the winter so that when the winter season comes they have enough food for themselves God gives us 24 hours that is 1440 minutes each day now we can choose how to use this time one thing that we must remember is time can run out Being good stewards of time does not mean that we cannot enjoy the many good things that God has given us in in life. 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 17 teaches us that God richly provides us with all things for our enjoyment. So it is biblical for us to enjoy the things that God has given us. But we must also realize that in our enjoyment We are not to fix our hope in the fleeting uncertainties of this world. Time flies, but the good news is you're the pilot. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this opportunity and we thank you for your word, O oh God. Lord, even as we learn today, help us as your children to be good stewards of the time that you have given us, Lord. Help us to walk in integrity help us to lord know and evaluate and use our time effectively to give you all the glory to increase your name in our lives oh god we thank you in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org